So in one of our videos that we have, we are running monitors for a uh, fairly large event and received an email about uh, how do we get, how do we run a separate monitor board? Because uh, mostly when uh, you're doing a show, monitors are run from front of house using the aux sends. Well, sometimes there's a need to have uh, separate monitor board. It just makes it a lot easier to run monitors, especially if you've got a lot of stage change outs, if you have a lot of instruments. So it's just easier to have monitors up there at the stage uh, where the stage manager can work with the bands, figure out what they need, and get all, get all their monitors set up while front of house is working on maybe changing uh, levels or changing some patching to, um, to support the next act. So monitors, it's uh, relatively simple to do a separate monitor board. And uh, if the, how we use it, uh, I mean, pardon me, but how we run monitors is through a separate uh, monitor snake. And uh, if you notice there, the, the snake on the left uh, is a little bit different than the one on the right. The snake on the left supports um, both monitors and uh, front of house. So the left, uh, the left feed coming out of here runs to a front of house and this feed here runs to a separate monitor board. And if you notice the difference here, these are all inputs on the monitor board, um, pardon me, on the monitor snake. And compared to the regular front of house snake, we've got uh, inputs plus we have eight returns. Over here, there are no returns. So basically, what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna use a channel here um, as an example, but let's say we have uh, something coming in on uh, channel one so We're just going to take our uh, cable here. Let's say it's coming in Okay, so we've got some here on channel one and what's going to happen is that signal is going to be fed down both of these Both of these trunks one going to front house one going to monitors now for the signal that's going to the monitors uh, this would this would be taken out to um, a bunch of pigtails just like a regular snake and they plug directly into the monitor board now for this one it's a little bit different okay so the only thing that makes it a little bit different is the trunking here it's got it's also its own set of pigtails well obviously uh, the uh, splitter snakes are usually not very long in fact uh, these feeds uh, I think these are only maybe about uh, 18 feet long 18 feet 18 foot feeds so what we're going to do is we're going to take the pigtail in, uh, in this example here, looking at channel one, we're going to take channel one over here uh, with the pigtails. Let's see what we got here. And channel one on the pigtail here is going to connect right into channel one on the front of house snake. So we've got input coming in here. It's the microphone. It's going to come out the uh, front of house feed as well as the monitors but to get this signal to the front of house and here we've got our uh, trusty uh, 32 channel snake here we're going to take the pigtail end of it this uh, these sets of pigtails belong to this board here we're going to take those and we're going to connect it into number one over here then what happens is that the signal then, just like a regular snake, and obviously I've got the uh, pigtail bag on, but the pigtails um, are going to go uh, connect into the front of house board, just like it normally would. And that also includes returns. So then for returns, what we're going to do, there we go. So let's just say in this example here, we've just got one return coming back for uh, maybe one full, full range. So we're going to still going to use our main front of house snake for our return. And we plug it into the return like we normally would. Because obviously over here on the uh, splitter snake, there are no returns. All this splitter snake does is take the signal and split it for us. To send the signal to front of house, send the signal to monitor, I mean, pardon me, monitors and for front of house. And then it just ties in directly. Here are the pigtails for the rest of them but it ties in uh, directly with our regular front house snake. And that's all there is to it. Very simple to do. Anyway, I uh, said there's a, there's a 
a couple of ways of doing it. This is probably uh, the cleanest method and certainly the uh, least expensive. So anyway, good luck, and we'll talk to you later.